Hello everyone, I want to show you how to use lighting triggers in some game scenarios or gameplay styles we need to change the lighting profile during gameplay for example we the player is around the jungle scene we need a jungle lighting setup and then when player going to uh, other scene style for example into castle we need to change the uh, lighting settings when player entering the trigger okay here you can see the default trigger you can create a cube Disable the mesh renderer, set it as a its trigger, add a rigid pod, no rigid pod in need, don't need, add to live profile trigger, set your player tag, currently I use a main camera tag, add an sphere, collider to detect your camera when entering to trigger, add uh, rigid body set it as a cinematic to detect it by three okay here you must assign your new profile when you want to when you want uh, that you want to switch to this profile to create a new profile you can create another profile or duplicate your current lighting profile assign the duplicated profile and start customizing it for example I want to set the colors to filmic style Disable vignette effect, increase the dramatic, change the ambient collusion. Method is not too much. Disable screen space of light. Okay, this is my new profile. You can now switch back to your default profile and set your new customized profile into trigger as you can see this is the default one and this is the new profile uh, to let the new trigger work you must close the lighting box window or switch to a new tab this should be must be deactivated or close it or switch to new inspector to let your trigger works as you can see when you enter into trigger the lighting profile switch here you can see the default lighting profile This is quickly switch to a new profile. When you open the lighting box window, you can see the results because it's refresh automatically. I suggest you or to close or switch to another tab to disable the lighting box. Override your into your trigger chance okay i hope you enjoyed in my 